What's up everyone and welcome to Glaze Cut Boutique. Today I wanted to show you how I rhinestone these Nintendo Switch headphones as well as a few links to show you where I grabbed all of my supplies and I want to show you guys some tips and tricks that I learned along the way. Um, that way you can ensure that your headphones still function and bend and all of that. So without further ado, let's get started. everyone okay so first I just want to show you the items that you are going to need so these are just some Nintendo switch headphones now we're gonna be doing this whole section in that mint color I'm just doing the outside and we're also gonna do around here and the tip of the mic as well so I'm gonna show you what you need to do to prep and we're also doing that blue section the top, I'm not sure yet. I don't think I'm gonna do that one. Um, and just remember your headphones do open and close. So you wanna make sure that you do not rhinestone something that's going to be crunched. Now, you're gonna need some paper towels. This is my, it's like a primer tray. It's used to shuffle and flip my rhinestones over. It works better on smaller rhinestones. The adhesive I'm using is the Bob Smith Industries. It's the 30 minute slow cure epoxy. I like using this because I can mix in glitter or mica powders. All right, and the stones are gonna be from Diamond Fire Rhinestones, my favorite company. This is the Transparent AB. This is SS10. I also have this container of, it's like 50 grams of the mixed sizes the same stones they're transparent but they have an a b reflection to them they're still see-through but they still have that really pretty sparkle and then my other container is filled with the ss12 those containers I actually got from michael's they come in a three pack they're like in a dollar bin oh and here's some opal glitter by glitter and blanks color 179 Okay, now today I'm gonna to be using my Tonto by Crystal Katana. It is a smaller wax tool used to pick up your stones. And this is one of my favorite brushes. Honestly, you can find these at the Dollar Tree, Amazon. And some rubbing alcohol, this is 91% used to clean my surfaces and my brush. Now I like to use this pad of sticky notes. I'll show you how I mix the Bob Smith epoxy and how I mix in my glitter or my makeup powder. Now you're gonna need some sandpaper. I use a lot of these little ripped pieces. This is 80 grit. You're going to have to sand the area. Don't be scared to sand, otherwise your rhinestones are just gonna come off. So here I'm gonna kind of show you, while I'm trying to keep my nails nice and pretty, um, you'll see toward the end of the video, they kind of get a little ruined. I like to get down and dirty on my projects. So, you're going to sand, sand, sand. You wanna make sure you get the shine off of whatever item that you are applying your rhinestones to. You wanna ensure that your surface is nice and has like a texture almost. That way your rhinestones do not come off because you don't wanna spend hours doing this and then they come off. Now, after sanding, you will see no more shine. It's very dull. Like I said, 80 grit is my go-to. Even 100 is fine, but I prefer to rough it up as much as possible. And then you're gonna take your paper towel and you're going to spray, I like my little spray bottle, spray that rubbing alcohol on there and you're going to clear your, wipe down everything, your surface. Okay, so here's how I use my sticky note. I start on the top half I use the same sticky note twice. So I measure out, cause it's equal parts of this epoxy. Now I measure out equal size blobs and I kind of just eyeball it the best I can. And that I like to make little batches. Please note the size, if I can get it out. <laughs> I was running low on this bottle. Um, and then somehow I skipped the part where I added my glitter, but don't worry, I'm gonna show that in the future. 
So really quick, here is just a small section that I started with. I added my glitter, mixed that into that little bit of epoxy and I use that paintbrush to apply that area. So I'm gonna speed through here a little bit of the rhinestones. You wanna make sure you have enough of that epoxy painted on so that way you can kind of move your rhinestones around and they're kind of seated in there. Okay, so I am going to show you that mixture again. So note that, and again, you only have 30 minutes to work with this. So this is why I mix only a little bit at a time. Especially if you're new, you really wanna take your time. So here I am mixing equal blobs. Again, just eyeballing it. So, I mean, it's pretty even. And then this little stick, it's actually like a, uh, I'd like a makeup stick. So I usually mix for about a minute, give or take. You don't need to mix it that much, especially because it's just a tiny portion. So again, just keep your little blob in one pretty good spot. And if you note, I'm very frugal with my product, so that's why I like to use sticky notes. I can mix different batches on the same sticky note. Now we're gonna add just a pinch of glitter. When you're working with glitter, see I'm kinda tapping my hand a little bit. When you're working with glitter and the Bob Smith epoxy, you only want a tiny pinch. Otherwise, it's too thick and you won't be able to adhere your stones properly. So just mix that in for a couple seconds and you are good to go. And I'm gonna grab my paintbrush and what I do after I scrape into this nice, easy little pile. So wipe that off in a paper towel. Then grab your paintbrush. And I know I'm speeding through this part as well, but I literally paint on the area that I'm going to apply these stones to next. Now see, we have this section done. It is looking good. I think I spent about two hours on this section alone. Now, I'm gonna be focusing a lot on the functional parts of these headphones, so I hope this helps. I wanna do the moving part first. Now on these headphones, if you push that up, it mutes your headphone. If you put it down, you can talk. So I wanna get that movable part done first. So here I am painting. And after I am done painting on the area that I'm working on, I actually, if you notice in the background, I stuck my paintbrush in the bottle of the rubbing alcohol. It actually has been working really well and it keeps my bristles free from excess epoxy and I can keep reusing that same brush without it hardening on me. Okay, so really quick, I wanted to focus on this area. Now, I'm gonna be bending the mic up and down and if you notice that little section, that little piece, see where I'm moving it? If you notice, it's very close to the actual headphone itself. So I wanted to make sure that when I move the mic up and down, that I wasn't rubbing on the rhinestones or that it wasn't getting stuck because you wanna make sure you can still use your headset to its full potential, even with the rhinestones. So you're gonna keep moving those parts around to make sure that you are not putting rhinestones in the way. So you're gonna see me moving this up and down and making sure my placement of my stones is still good. So yes, I can still move it. So I'm gonna keep applying my rhinestones. So 
So as you can see, it's still keeping a pretty pattern. We're starting and I can still move the mic up and down. So aside from the moving parts, you're just gonna keep mixing your little batches of the Bob Smith epoxy, adding your glitter or your mica, and just doing little sections at a time until you have completed your headset. Remember, keep your hands clean. You don't want a lot of oils. You want the surface as clean as possible and contaminant free. So it does still have full function and that's really what I wanted to focus on is to make sure you're bending um, all of your electronics around make sure they still function I just think they turned out adorable this is why I use the transparent AB because you can still see the color in the background but it still gives you a ton of bling check out the description below subscribe and hit the notification button I have tons of other cool things I want to show you guys so stay tuned, stick around, and catch my next video. Thanks for watching.